Hey, what's up guys? It's Casey with iTracker360. If you've watched my AdWords video series on how to create a tracking template and set custom parameters and use value track parameters and all this stuff, then you're probably caught up at this point. And what I did is I made a little script to make things a little easier for you in terms of setting the campaign and the ad group custom parameter uh, in your AdWords account. So for instance, I have four campaigns and I have custom parameters. Um, I created a custom parameter for the campaign. I set to winter, summer, fall, basically the name of the campaign. But what I did is I added a new campaign and I didn't set the parameter. I also did the same thing under my ad groups. So I have a new Thanksgiving holiday ad group, but I didn't set the ad group custom parameter. So what's going to happen now is if anybody clicks on an ad under those campaigns or ad groups, I'm not going to get the tracking data that I want. Um, so anyways, you have to set these custom parameters. And so if you're adding new ad groups or you're renaming your ad groups or adding new campaigns, it's kind of a pain to do that. Um, so I wrote a script to automatically set uh, those names. So let's implement this script. So what you do is you go to tools, you go to bulk actions and scripts. And AdWords has this thing, you can add a new script. So go ahead and click the plus. Um, I have all the code written for you. It's under this link right here and I'll put it um, under the video or somewhere where you can access it. But basically this will get all the campaigns where the campaign is not removed. And it'll also get all the ad groups where the ad groups are not removed. And it's gonna set the campaign custom parameter and the ad group custom parameter based on the name of the campaign or the name of the ad group. That's what this script does. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna click this raw button. I'm gonna do control A, control C, just copy that script. And I'm gonna replace everything up on here. And I'm gonna save it. And then I'm gonna run it. And when you run it for the first time, uh, you can preview it, but it's gonna ask you to authorize this script. So I'm gonna authorize it. Uh, just to allow the script to run against my AdWords account. And then once it's authorized, you can do preview. And what it'll do is it'll preview, it'll probably print out some stuff under this log thing. It's basically going through the campaigns and the ad groups. Um, the changes is what is going to change in your account. So it's gonna change this custom parameter. It's gonna set the campaign to spring and um, it's gonna set this ad group to Thanksgiving holiday and, and things like that. Some of these other um, campaigns and ad groups, they have since been deleted or removed. They're, they're, they're out of my account, but they just appear here. But that's what this does. So I'm gonna actually run this script for real. So I'm gonna hit run. And while I'm in this area, I'm gonna go ahead and name this script. I'm gonna name it like set custom parameters. And I'm gonna schedule this thing to run every hour. So that way, if I add a new campaign or ad group and I forget to set the custom parameters, this will just set it for me every hour. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna refresh this page. I'm gonna click on ad groups again. Maybe I have to hit F5 and refresh my browser. But the script should have already ran. Uh, I ran it manually. So let this ad group view load. And now Thanksgiving holiday has its custom parameter set and we can check the campaign tab as well. We go to campaigns. Um, if, you, if you go to the campaign area and you try to view this, I, I can I always have to go down to the settings and the campaign settings. And then in here, you can modify your columns um, and add you know custom parameters and tracking templates and things like that. So I'm gonna add the custom parameter right here and hit apply. So all the way over here on the right, there's campaign is winter, summer, spring, and fall. So that spring campaign, um, that custom parameter got set by that script, as well as the Thanksgiving holiday ad group, that got set by the script as well. And the script, what it's gonna do, it's gonna grab the name of the ad group and it's gonna convert it to lowercase. It's gonna replace all the spaces to underscores. It's gonna strip out pretty much everything that's not a letter or a number. So if you have like a dollar sign or something in that, it's gonna get stripped out because I just want safe URL encoded characters um, to appear in here. 
So feel free to modify this script. Um, I'll post a link to it so you can grab it, but this should help in terms of setting the campaign and ad group custom parameters in your AdWords account.